It's your boy Weiss, and you already know what the fuck I'm going to be reacting to today, so you might as well like, comment, and subscribe, and all that YouTuber yada yada shit. And now I'm just gonna get straight into this reaction right now. So, I won't lie, this is the first time I've ever gone on a date with someone after banging them. <laughs> well, uh, last time I went on a date, I... Definitely got screwed afterwards. Oof. Sounds rough. Eh, if I've learned anything in life, it's that you take the good with the bad. Hmm, that's pretty wise, Krill. I'm just glad I could take you out tonight. You wouldn't believe it, but I've actually had this reservation for... a while. Yeah, I don't even want to know how long you've had that reservation. If it's too long, then it just seems a little bit suspect, in my opinion. Place seems pretty upscale. Don't tell me. Four dollar signs on Yelp? Yep! And I budgeted for the menu! I have exactly enough for two drinks, two entrees, and either an appetizer or dessert. The fact that you were able to plan this out kinda scares me a little. Like, this is creepy. Hey, don't sweat your bank account, man. I'm mad liquid. Seriously? <laughs> no. When Jero kidnapped me, I had 1600 zenny, a joint, and a Spencer's gift card in my wallet. Okay, now I actually feel bad for Android 18 going through all of that in a bag of chips. Oh my god! Oh shit. Was that oversharing? No! I, I'm just... sorry that happened to you. Hey, if it never did, I wouldn't have met you. Aw, that's so sweet and wholesome. Man, I like Team 4 Star's wholesomeness. It's just refreshing. Also, I wouldn't be able to bench press a literal building, so... Good with the bad. Good evening, I'm Samuel, and I'll be your server for tonight. Here's the drink menu, and let me start you off with some water. Sparkling or still? I'll take sparkling. Ooh, sparkling, I'll take- Wonderful, th I'll be back soon. In the meantime, definitely take a look at those appetizers. I suggest the clams. They go down smooth. Okay, that was hella suspect. I was never into clams myself. You definitely don't seem like a shellfish guy. Ah, uh, come on, man. Are you for real? Jeez, man. <sighs> Was that a pun? No, you're right. You do look like a shrimp. Oh my god! Sorry, but it was right there. Honestly, I was not expecting this sense of humor. Why? Because I'm a half robot? No! Because you're a skinny blonde! Oh, damn! Oh, yeah! Really? Really? Is this the best you can do? Being half Terminator definitely played a part. <laughs> <laughs> well then, how about when we get back to the house, I'll make you my Sarah Connor. I have several questions. I'm just gonna pretend like I don't know what that means, even though I really do, but I'm not gonna tell any of you what that really means because I'm too lazy to give an explanation for this. That is, uh, oddly arousing. I thought about saying John Connor, but... Yeah, no! Right? Yeah. Hey there! Have we had a chance to look at the menu? Oh, actually, maybe we should do dessert over apps, because this white chocolate souffle sounds amazing. You know, we, we actually have a special today. Really Tornado Rossini on dried fruit brioche really with Madeira wine right? sauce and my number. Okay, do you really have to disrespect Krillin like that? Like, come on, just give him some food. Like, come on. Just do your job. Stop trying to do too much. And honestly, we already have white chocolate, and it's called vanilla. Ooh. Um, something happening? Just a sec. So, you serious? Dead serious. I get off at 10, and then I can get you off at 10.30. What is he- All right, Sammy. Three things. First, you wouldn't make it past 10.05. Second, you wouldn't live past 10.06. Jeez, man. Third, we are still waiting on our waters. Seriously, just give him the waters. Like, I've been watching this for like the past few minutes, and I still have not seen this guy give some damn water. Like, seriously. Just do your job. So, if you value your job and or life, you're gonna take this knife. Cut the bullshit and get us our goddamn Pellegrino. Holy shit! Okay, fine. Could've just said no. 
God, don't need to be a monster bitch about it. And he's gonna regret saying that in three, two, one. Excuse you? I'm going to give you five seconds to apologize for what you just said. Or what, midget? Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I just had some terrible timing. Now, in three, two, one, he's going to regret saying that. You gonna headbutt me in my junk? <laughs> apologize. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. P please don't hurt me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you don't do your job. I swear. If I was this dude, I would most definitely know that I would be fired at this point. Like, I might as well just leave. Just quit on the spot. So that way I don't have to suffer the embarrassment of being told I'm getting fired. Oh, um, for the table. And here's your 20%, dickhead. Hmm, so if I were going to go by the rules of cancel culture, give it a good five years. Have somebody find this. And then, the guy in this video would most definitely be cancelled if this dude was a real person. But, yeah. Why am I talking about cancel culture? That seems totally irrelevant to this video. Jeez, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is expired. I am so sorry for that! <laughs> Don't apologize for him. Or at all. That was amazing. I'm good on that. You know, there's a burger place not even a mile away from here. Cheap. Friendly. Christ, on a sesame bun, I could go full Terminator on a cheeseburger right now. That wasn't funny at all. Let's do it. Oh wait, crap! I just gave all my money away for that table! Don't worry. My treat. So, uh, do you need food to survive, or...? Oh, uh, technically, no. Uh, but, I mean, would you call a life without burgers living? She has a point. No, Lazuli! I would not. Wait, how do you know my real name? Oh my god, did I not tell you about the time I killed Cell? Oh boy, I wonder how many people forgot about that. Because that definitely happened, and the people who act like this never happened are Vegeta stands. Sorry, Vegeta stands, but, like, seriously, there's this, you just don't give humans enough credit. Wait, I thought that was Goku's kid. Uh, yeah, but also, you're gonna love this, by the way. So me and Trunks, a uh, future guy, so we go searching for Jiro's sub-lab, right? Ugh, of course that creep had a sub-lab. Okay, I think this video is over, but you know what, I enjoyed the video overall, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below, and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and even join my Discord server if you really want to, but, but I'm not gonna force you to do that because, why not? But you know what, I think I'm done here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!